Welcome to the November 11th Cuba cast. Can you guys can't can you guys believe it's November already? It's Thanksgiving almost. It's the 13th. It's even two days after the 11th. Oh, it is the 13th. What's with this dog? Yes, man. Yeah. It's warm up here in New Zealand. It's the 14th in New Zealand, so there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spring here. Yeah, and it's spring. It's cold mm. here. It's cold here. I wish I wish I could show up at Christmas in my shorts too. <laughs> Anyways, I'm joined by these fine gentlemen. We have a first timer with us, and I'll let him introduce himself first and tell a little bit about him, what he does, what he likes to do, who he is. So we'll start with him. Hello, I'm Tom. Um, I'm the only, I think I'm the only non American staff member, is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm from I'm from England, but um, I'm currently in New Zealand, um, which is all backwards here. So it's daytime and spring here. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm a writer for the site, and I occasionally do illustrations and design work as well when I'm not writing or playing games. So very busy. <laughs> nice, yeah. You've probably seen most of his articles online, and, so. mm. and, and they're fantastic. Yeah, thank you. You'll see more of him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sticking around. Yeah. And if you follow him on Twitter, he tweets a lot about Pokemon, which yeah. <laughs> I still have And soccer, so which is good. Yeah. Mm. Or football, whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Come on, Arsenal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we go with the next person, I don't know whoever's the next person. To the right. Mm, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the order's the same on everyone. I don't yeah. know either. I've always wondered that. Is it his right or my right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm Justin. You've probably seen me before. I work on the site in the magazine and um, love playing video games and Nintendo games specifically. I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed 4 lately and Pokemon Y. So. Eli? Uh, my name's Eli. I like coffee and video games. And I can't wait for the new Zelda on the 22nd. Yes. Yes. Sir Tristan? Hello. My name is Tristan. But you probably already know that by now. Uh, I love video games as well. I also love writing about them. I am currently about to do a replay of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo because, like Eli, I am super excited about the new release. And I kind of want to play it again, so whenever the new one comes out, I might pick up like, oh, that did happen. Mm-hmm. Also, I am good at Mario Kart. Don't let, don't let what anyone else says fool you. Mm-hmm. Doubtful, doubtful. I'm still saying, man, I can't wait till Mario Kart 8 comes out and it's online play, and we just get up here in Nintendo Lobby and I just smoke you guys. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> My name is James, and I, I do things, and I just finished playing Assassin's Creed. You can check out Justin's I review on the site after the Koopa Cast. It's there now, but you might as well wait. Mm-hmm. Listen to us. Watch us. Then you can go read the Assassin's Creed review. Very good. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we had a Nintendo Direct today, the November Nintendo Direct today. Yeah. So I want to sum yeah. it up. Like, what was the uh, one big announcement? For... What do you guys uh, consider the big announcement, I guess, is my question. Not Rosalina being announced. Um, that was a pretty big one. Um, yeah, that's a really <laughs> hard one, because the Super Mario 3D World one, um, I perked up big, you know, big time when I was, you know, um, when I just heard them talking about it. That was really got my attention, just because, I mean, I'm excited for Zelda, but every time I look at videos for Super Mario 3D World, I just get excited just how pretty the game looks. I'm, like, playing Super Mario 3D Land over and over on my 3DS, and I'm thinking, you know, all right, it looks great on the 3DS, but then I keep looking at videos and on the, what it's going to look like on the Wii U, and I'm just excited about what it's going to be like and uh, what it's going to be like also with four people. Mm-hmm. Also, the day we all get together and we all play it, and Eli somehow manages to screw us all over. <laughs> <laughs> so your favorite part about the 3DS Direct was the Wii U game. 
What were you going to say? Huh? Well, when I was watching it, I really want to sell my uh, 3DS XL because I need that Zelda one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Tristan, you want to read... Uh, you still need an XL? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to hear it, Tom. Oh, you got one. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't want to hear it, Tom, because the UK is getting a collector's edition of Link Between Worlds, and mm-hmm. it looks pretty fantastic. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It even comes with a small mm-hmm. treasure chest that when you open it, makes the Zelda jingle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's you can pretty... get that in the US as well, I think. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure you can get the chests somewhere or another. It's not in the collector's edition, but... I think it's you have to pre-order. search for it in dungeons. Yeah. But, what if, but what if I decide to pay with the queen's currency? Yeah. <laughs> You'll be paying more. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean? The, Mer- the, the U.S. dollar is still worth something. <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, so... The Direct, I think probably my favorite thing in there. I loved seeing a release date for uh, the new Professor Layton. That was good. What was it, February 7th? Uh, no, February 28th. February 7th was Bravely Default. Uh, that game looks interesting. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, did you guys... Uh, I was kind of hoping we'd see more of that Kirby 3DS game. Remember they showed a trailer uh, one or two yeah. Nintendo Directs ago? Uh, yeah. They actually buried an announcement for it in the press release. You can, you can see in there, it's just like one sentence, but it says, oh, and the new Kirby game for the 3S has a name. It's called Kirby Triple Deluxe. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't have any new screenshots, no trailer. There wasn't even a box art or anything. So yeah. I'm sure that'll be later on next year. And hopefully then they'll actually reveal, they'll, we'll go back to, oh, that's right, we did have a Yoshi game, didn't we, for the 3DS? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm really disappointed that they didn't show that. I'm, I am I feel just the same. And I'm also disappointed that they haven't decided to make, hey, guys, what if we took a game like Metroid Fusion or Super Metroid, gave it 3D graphics, and put it on the 3DS? That's, you know, side-scrolling style in 3D. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I almost wouldn't mind if it was, you know, non-polygonal, like still hand-drawn graphics, but just, you know, higher res like the 3DS has. Oh, okay. Um, you know, still in the fusion style. I guess you'd, you'd still want some polish to it because you, you may have a hard time asking people to uh, pay $40 for something that may look like it could run on the DS. I don't know. No, I guess that's uh, good. I, may, maybe that's the same problem they're having with Yoshi's Island on the 3DS. Um, I have this feeling the art style of that game is going to change drastically. Yeah, I have a feeling too. It, it, it seems like since they didn't even mention it that it's because uh, they mentioned yeah. the games that are coming in early 2014. Um, my guess is they're reworking some of it. So. Yeah, because I mean, like I wasn't typically blown away by it, but I wasn't ultimately disappointed by it. Yeah. Play E3. Mm-hmm. And a 3DS update was announced finally. Yeah, oh, yeah, network ID and Miiverse, so you can link your network ID accounts with your Wii U and 3DS. Yeah. Wii I U. think that's just going to make it so much simpler. And they mm-hmm. talked about the little eShop uh, gift cards. And right now it's so confusing. Like, if you go into a store and a parent's buying, you know, a gift card for, you know, their kid or, you know, something for 3DS, they're like, oh, but I got a Wii U one. They can't use it on the 3DS. Now it's just one universal card that can be yeah. used on either of them. So, um, so I think that's cool. I kind of like the point where Reggie... Well, it wasn't Reggie. Whoever was narrating that announcement was like, yeah, if you accidentally sync... I think it was Bill Trinity. You accidentally yeah. sync the wrong network ID account to your 3DS, you are screwed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I was expecting to say something like, oh, you can easily merge them together. No. <laughs> no. You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I, I like how uh, matter of fact they are or informal in their directs it's pretty, it, it's nice it's refreshing to see Yeah, it, it, it's, it's great that they can be professional but they can have a sense of humor too like you know where Reggie was talking through the elevator 
And of course, yeah. he asks, is your body ready? And it's like, Reggie, is that you? Yes, I have this power. Yes, I have this power. <laughs> yeah. He was very blunt about that, which I'm not, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Surprised it seems, like, it seems like they have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, Tom? What did you think? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the, uh, the Miiverse. Um, I hope, obviously, we're able to doodle like we can on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. Um, that obviously hasn't been confirmed, but it would be nice to, especially after they removed Swap Note, be able to do some drawings on the 3DS. Mm-hmm. That's my yeah, artist think... in me talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I think they showed some screenshots with drawing, but yeah, I don't know if yeah. they confirmed that you can do it. But um, <clears throat> they did show that uh, you know the top four icons on your 3ds, the bottom screen, uh, like your friends list and oh, uh, internet browser and stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. They confirmed that Miiverse will be a new icon up there at the top right, mm-hmm. so you can actually access it from there. So it'll be just like the Wii U. You can access Miiverse while you're still playing a game, you know. So. No, you can't see it. <laughs> uh, um, I'm. I get the feeling the Pokemon Miiverse is gonna just explode with oh people. My goodness, yeah. Yeah, like I, I, like I'm gonna be. It's gonna be intense. How many there? That or like Pokemon Zelda and um. Zelda and uh, <laughs> Zelda <laughs> you guys chime in so I don't look like an idiot. I'm, I'm wondering myself if um. The, the Animal Crossing Plaza is going to... Oh, actually, yeah. That's a, do people ah, still play that? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yes. it seems odd that it would only be on the Wii U for a 3DS game, so... Yeah. I'm wondering if that will get a 3DS version, so... Yeah. Yeah, it would be really nice. I almost thought they were going to announce that in the Direct, because they started mm-hmm. talking about the Animal Crossing Plaza, and I was yeah. like, oh, they mentioned Miiverse already. Maybe they'll mention a 3DS... You know, it's going to be moving to the 3DS Miiverse or yeah. eShop. Um, it, it is going to be interesting, you know, because um, people have been wanting Miiverse on the 3DS for a while. Mm. I was just thinking about this. How many Wii U's are out there that have sold? There's like three, there's almost four million, right, in almost the world? So now they're going to be bringing on the 3DS, and how many 3DS's are out there? Like 33 million? It's the top selling handheld, so I imagine yeah. there's a bunch. I, I think I saw some numbers today that put it over the N64 numbers, so it's it's just past the N64 uh, all time sales now. So, and that's just in two and a half years. Um, but I think it's going to be uh, an interesting transition when they put Miiverse Live to see how their servers are going to handle it, because you're going to have potentially. 33 million systems that have access to it now, instead of just the 4 million that the Wii U has. So, It'll be interesting. Yeah, a lot, big, a lot bigger job to moderate that, won't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Speaking of Animal Crossing, I have to ask Tom, uh, since, since you've been playing Pokemon, when is the last time you've been to your town in Animal Crossing? <laughs> um, oh, God, it's probably like two months now. <laughs> yeah. Not hey, well, right now, but <laughs> you're in your <yours> right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a letter from Nintendo. I had to open it. <laughs> nice. Poor Isabel's like uh, Tom. She's at your like office, freaking out, running around in like a pile of papers. The town's probably on fire. They think I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're burning an effigy of you. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Nook is not uh, Tom Nook is now taking over and he's ruling with like an iron tail. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 would actually be really funny. Like if it had like random, random events like that. Like it, let's oh, say you didn't play too. for a year. Uh, like like if uh, yeah, like Tom Nook took over and there was like maybe he builds himself like a statue of him, <laughs> you know, in the middle of town and like people are worshiping it and stuff. And you come back, you're like, what's going on? <laughs> he came and yeah. there was like a. Disruption in the space-time continuum, and like Biff was like controlling everything, <laughs> <laughs> and you had to go back in time and correct stuff. That, you mentioned, would, that would be awesome. My goodness. You this mentioned who you are. Back. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned who you are, and people, you know, realize how old you are. And you went, you're about as old as a fossil. Uh, <laughs> if I catch you, I, 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 I can sell you for a lot. Just, 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 just
That would be really fun, though, with that time paradox. That would be cool. <laughs> like, like you have to repair what the damage that was done or something since you're, mm-hmm. in your absence. I was, I was if you're watching that. this, Nintendo, yeah. we got some ideas. <laughs> I was reading an article about weird ways to die in video games. It was a cracked article. And one of them was, I think it was Sonic CD. Like, if you leave him waiting for, like, yeah. two or three minutes, he goes, like, he says something like, oh, well, and jumps off. And the game goes, and he I'm dies. Yeah, I'm out of here. And he jumps off. And the game, yeah, it's all <laughs> over. Like, there's no, like, sudden level over. It's you start the whole game over. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so he sits there and taps his foot for, like, two or three minutes. And then he's yeah. like, I'm out of here. And jumps off. That's the level. Uh, I, I found another one. Um, another one of those like, wait, it, 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 that's seriously how you game over? Um, uh, this is way back. This is before I was a pure Nintendo. I did a retro review on uh, um, Super Paper Mario for the Wii, mm-hmm. and I found out in the beginning of the game when you find like the wizard. I'm just gonna call him Merlin, and he's you know he asked Mario, will he take upon this task to save the land? I actually say, go, you know what? For kicks, I'm gonna say no. And I say, no. He goes, are, are you sure? We really need you as our savior. And it's like, you know, it comes again. Are you get, yes or no? I went, no. But it's like, <laughs> sure, I, I mean, really, everyone is going to die if you don't save us. Will you save us? No. And he just goes, all is doomed. The screen fades to black and says, game over. And goes right back to the title screen. I was like, <laughs> okay. Well, all right, game. I, I see what you're doing. I see your, I see, I see your plan here. They, they, they saw your bluff. <laughs> yeah, they did. Nintendo went, okay, you want to you save it? You want to save it? All right. All right. <laughs> Game's <laughs> over, smart Everyone, ass. <laughs> it, probably, it probably just went, game over. Everyone's dead. Hope you can sleep at night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny if it did like a permanent uh, uh, save right to the cartridge or the, the disc, you know? <laughs> so I couldn't like play the game. <laughs> like it rendered it useless at that point. <laughs> The, the laser, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the laser <laughs> fires up and just burns the whole disc. Yeah. <laughs> You've made your choice. <laughs> oh man. I would actually I don't know, part of me would be mad, but the other part of me would be like, all right, well played. <laughs> all right, yeah. I'll be a good boy and save your kingdom. Mm-hmm. Alright, so has everyone been playing Wii Fit You or Wii Sports Club? What do you guys think of those? Um, I actually got the Wii Sports Club. I um, it automatically downloaded to my Wii U, and um, I'm not really noticing too much of a difference. I guess because all I want to say is golf was actually my favorite one. Yeah. Um, but it looks great. It's it it sounds so happy. Like when I'm at the menu, you like choose your sport. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can totally do this. You know, I can totally play for hours on end and totally lose track of time. But no, I can see where the the appeal is. Um, I just wonder when all the sports come out, instead of buying each individual pass, we'll just say for forty bucks you can just buy the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I, some... I'm hoping they bundle it, and I'm hoping they come out with the Wii Sports Resort um, games on there as well. That would be cool. It would help extend the game at least. Yeah. I know. I I absolutely loved it. Like it seems like it took me back. To my childhood, even though it was only like six years ago, <laughs> but playing like <laughs> playing Wii Sports a ton at Justin's house or in Kevin's yeah. basement, we used to play tennis. We play rounds and rounds of golf in the middle of the night. Oh, and yeah. just, like I loved it, and it was yeah. nice seeing in HD. It was nice getting my butt kicked online, and it was just I don't know. I loved it. I'm gonna buy it. You know, I don't want to. I think it's a little bit high. What, five bucks for the game. Ten bucks, yeah, actually. Yeah. Ten, ten bucks for each. Ten bucks for the full pass. For each. Yeah, so twenty bucks is a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't know, James. I mean, I, I got my Wii right here, and I mean, I could just turn on my Wii U, and we could go out around in tennis if you want to lose. That is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll I'll take that challenge, Tristan. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, all right. All right. Well, let's get a bowling team set up too while we're at it. Yeah. <laughs> we 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 could be called the Pin Pals. Oh, <laughs> like like uh, Simpsons. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you can see where your friends' scores are at. Like in, in bowling, so you can see your friends' top scores. Like I saw Chris from 3ds Utah Street Pass. Yeah. He was at like 180. I think it was like Friday. I think like 185. And I was like, I, I got to beat him. So I played for like an hour and a half until I, I think I passed him. I'm like, I beat him like five pins or something. <laughs> so like, that was that was kind of cool. Yeah. Nice. 
So, Chris, if you're watching, I beat you. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> he, he's probably not watching. He's probably trying to beat you back. <laughs> <laughs> Better staying in line for the PS4. One of the two. Oh, no. <laughs> what's that? Yeah. What's, a, what's a PS1? Yeah. Huh? Oh, Dude, I'm only going to get one for Ke- the Kingdom Hearts 3 again. That's my appeal, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. so you don't really need to get one until then. I'm about to say, Tom, you know what I'm talking about. Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Like, like, I get that Kingdom Hearts section. Yeah. That's probably five years away yet, though. Yeah. No, yeah. no I'm not going. <laughs> we at least have in-production videos, so I'm going to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and by that time, there'll probably be a price drop and, you know, maybe even, like, a Kingdom Hearts bundle when it comes out, so... I'm actually one thing I'm holding out for on that is that they might do a PS4 themed console yeah, of Kingdom Hearts three. I would definitely save and hold out the uh, shout out the money for that. Yeah, I, I think they probably will do that. It's a huge enough franchise. It would yeah. It would definitely warrant yeah. warrant one. Yeah, and with this new deal with Marvel and Star Wars now, I wonder what's who's going to be in the game. Ah, uh, that's true. Got me a little scared. Mm-hmm. Be like Iron Man and Mickey. You're like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just turn off the console. And go, I, 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 I don't know if I can do this, guys. I just yeah. like, maybe like the, maybe like the third grader in me would think this is amazing, but the grown up in me is just like, all right, you're trying too hard at this point. Yeah, That's when crossovers get a little too much. <laughs> yeah, true. Speaking of Marvel, uh, James, didn't you have a topic or something about Marvel? Yeah. Yes. Um, so Netflix and Marvel came to a deal to bring four live action series and one mini series to Netflix, hmm. starting 2015. Yeah. So they're bringing Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage, Luke Cage series to Netflix. So it'll be 14 to 13 episodes, and it's all going to culminate with a Defenders mini series. Hmm. Now, wasn't Luke Cage that one guy from the Mortal Kombat? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Johnny Cage. Uh, oh, Johnny, it's the same name. <laughs> um, I think it's kind of weird how they're planning for something for two years in advance. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That just seems kind of. Well, it's it's not weird. They gotta. We're gonna learn about this production anyways. Right. So start production on it. Cause it's probably pretty high quality. Cause the guy who did a uh, Cabin in the Woods. The director of that's doing Daredevil. Hmm. So it's probably going to be high quality. It's not going to be like Marvel yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. quality, which is kind of cartoonish. Like I think it's going to be a dark, gritty, almost uh, probably better quality than Arrow is. Because Netflix has a ton of money they can just throw at it. I don't know, man. Arrow is kind of cool, though. I, no, Arrow, like I love Arrow, but I mean, this quality probably will be better in Arrow. Because Netflix has a lot more money than network television. Well, Arrow's on network television, but... Uh, yeah, well, it's yeah. Some, some station called CW. CW, yeah. yeah. But they have, more, like, yeah. So I have, a, I'm expecting high quality out of it. And I'm I can see that. If it's not. Because, I mean, the Arrested Development season uh, that was done by Netflix was really good. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I actually, I, it, it was hard to tell a difference, but you could tell it was just a little bit better. Not, mm-hmm. well, not funnier than the other se- seasons, but... Still, still pretty decent. Right, Justin? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Same. 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 <laughs> Same. <laughs> I absolutely love that. <laughs> and, and somewhere Katie's going, ugh. Yeah, Katie's probably shaking her head right now. <laughs> Stop saying same. <laughs> oh, she said same. Someone say same. 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 <laughs> but the question I was alluding to in the email, because I had this conversation when they announced this is, is digital media or like a television or home entertainment system catching up with movie theaters? And the reason this question is brought up is that TVs are getting better, audio systems are getting better, streaming quality is getting better, and just television shows are easy to tell a story, in my opinion. I wish Kevin was here than a movie, because a movie you have two and a half hours to tell, you can have up to, if they make them hour-long dramas, you can have up to 12 hours, 13 hours to tell a story, and it's a lot easier to tell a story in an episode than rather sit at home. Because my TV, I'm going to gloat, my TV's nice. I have a super nice TV, and it's pretty much the same as watching a the theater, except it's not super huge. 
the only thing I was I'm missing is a nice audio surround sound. One so day. do you see one day, hopefully. <laughs> but like do you see like digital media, home entertainment with the Wii, with the PS4, with the Xbox three sixty, with all in one type systems cutting into home uh, theater watching or the movie industry in general. Yes. Nice. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I mean, because uh, I've already seen it. Like, there's been theaters that have closed down. Just you know, e- even in areas that are really busy. But you know, either there's other theaters, or you know, it's almost like there's one theater now that's kind of the main one. But you know, oftentimes Katie and I will just stay home and watch something on Netflix rather than going out to see a movie because they're so expensive now. Mm. Yeah, I, I saw. Um, I went to Best Buy the other day and I looked at like an 80 inch 4K TV, and Jeez. I'd rather save exactly. my money and buy that than go to a theater. Yeah. It, it was beautiful. It it was better than I thought. Real life was good, but this was better. <laughs> <laughs> real life sucks compared to that. Yeah, gonna, I know. <laughs> Eli, what are you going to do when Apple makes their own smart TV? Ah. Uh, I'll be up, stand in line and get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do see the competition, but me personally, I still like going to a movie theater because mm-hmm. right, it, it's nice to get out of the house every once in a while. And also, I mean, like yeah, that's where we take a girl. You know, you do a whole you know dinner and a movie thing. It's it's, it's the classic thing. No, never fail. Yeah. Because I mean, because if you do it, you know, you're doing the in your living room. You're like. Whatever. I mean, like, okay, yeah, that, that happens occasionally. Yeah, it happens occasionally. But yeah, that. Oh, 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 that's when you go. You know, oh, if you're a pirate, would you want your parrot on this shoulder <laughs> or this shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you do that. Um, I don't know. I I just kind of like going to like a movie theater. I mean, like, I can actually make homemade popcorn, you know, stick straight from the seed and all, and I do a pretty good job at it. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes I like just getting you know the big biggest tub you can get and just going to a movie. There's just something about it. Yeah, I think the cinema in itself is kind of it's kind of a unique experience, and some films I think thrive on being there with an audience, getting their reaction from what's going on. Um, not not all the time, but I'd say it it does add a lot to a film on occasion, and just being in that environment with with other people, hearing them laugh, you know, it kind of it is an experience, but. Funny. Yeah, the atmosphere, yeah. yeah. But um, I think it's definitely a dying trade, and I don't think prices are helping it. Um, no, that, that's, a, that's a good point, yeah. I think, if anything, the movie industry is encouraging piracy and not, you know, deterring people from doing it, really, with the prices yeah. they charge. Yeah. How much is a ticket for uh, the go see a movie down there, Tom? Um... I haven't been in a few months. Uh, but last time I went, I think it was ten dollars, but it was a small kind of independent cinema. It wasn't a big. Oh, okay. It was in like a small little town, so it was quite cheap actually. But yeah. back okay. home, I'd be paying fifteen pounds probably for a ticket to the cinema, which is. A lot. That's about yeah. ten yeah. ten dollars, I think. Yeah, and even like yeah, trying to do the currency exchange to like U.S. dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Mm. And then you've got your drinks and your food, and it all adds up to. Or you get your. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you get your friend with a really really big bag, and you just <laughs> put as many snacks in there. Me and my friend, we used to do that all the time. Like yeah. Just shove them in your jacket and stuff. Yeah. I. I yeah, ta- Taco Bell. I've just put burritos down each arm. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually got in with a KFC before to the cinema. <laughs> okay, sir, enjoy. Uh, excuse me, sir. Well, why do you smell like crunchy cheese burritos? Yeah. <laughs> I almost spilled a frappuccino down my pants, but the whipped cream saved me. Luckily, <laughs> it stopped it. That's hilarious. You know, I, I can name so many things that were just wrong with that scent. But I'm not gonna touch them. Yeah. Okay, it was in my pocket. There was some protection. Yeah, okay. okay. He's not helping okay. He's making it back, worse. Back, back on top. You <laughs> like that pickup lines. You go to a girl that works at Starbucks. <laughs> For me, the only real, true, enjoyable—I don't want to say it, true, enjoyable—but the most enjoyable. 
the most joy I get out of movie theaters is IMAX for me. Mm. And I think that I think we'll see more and more IMAX theaters because if you think about it, you know, theaters have always been somewhat a little bit ahead of television, but television has kind of caught up to theaters. Because you had when televisions like movies started going to DVDs, like the theaters went DLP digital and and kept one step ahead. But now you have these 4K TVs and Blu-ray players and ultra whatever the Netflix thing is called, streaming, ultra streaming. And so, like, for me, like, IMAX is where I still get excited at. Because I went and saw Thor here Sunday. And I had a horrible experience because we didn't see IMAX. They had that stupid Ender's game in IMAX here, whatever the movie's called. So I saw it in the normal theater. And the whole time I'm sitting there like, my TV's better than this. (laughs) So it seems a little bit fuzzy, out of focus. And there was kids crying. I'm like, this sucks. I rather I, I wish I had this on Blu-ray so I can play it on my TV in my underwear <laughs> eating cheap popcorn and candy. <laughs> That's what I want. You go to a theater and just be in your underwear. I mean, like, why you <laughs> You could just go, okay, and it's showtime. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what Pee Wee Herman got in trouble for. I was, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, he got in trouble because he got caught. Thought we were keeping the same with Herman. I know we were talking about that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but no, that's a really good point because, I mean, like, yeah, you go to a regular theater, I mean, like, yeah, that's whatever. But you go to an IMAX, it's, it, the, the game changes. The game really does change. Yeah, I love it. IMAX. Like, it gets me excited going to movie theaters just watching something in IMAX. I always mm-hmm. wondered what if you plugged up a game console to like an IMAX projector, uh, if that was possible. Your, your eyes would bleed. <laughs> of, of <joy. laughs> now, another insane movie experience. Um, this was when I was up in Canada visiting my brother. He was up in Vancouver, British Columbia. And uh, we went to a movie theater there, and, and it, was, it was weird because you, know, you buy your ticket, and you had to go up an escalator. It was one of those kind of theaters in downtown Vancouver and all. Uh-huh. And um, what amazed me is that they had, like, Burger King up there as concession and Taco mm-hmm. Bell and things like that where, you know, it's like, yeah, we, we know you're going to try to smuggle it in, so why not just buy it from us? You can get poutine and watch a movie. Have you guys ever had poutine? Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Yes, I have. They're, oh. Yeah, I said poutine. James, Justin, I Tom. Poutine. I don't know what that is. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> French fries, uh, gravy, and cheese curds. Mm, and I know good. that may sound awful, but it's it's fantastic. It's delicious. It sounds it really, good. It really is. Huh. But yeah, I, I feel like um, each cinema experience is its own little special thing. I mean, we have our own special stories. I mean, sadly, when James saw a movie, he had a bunch of crying kids. I remember when I went and saw Pirates of the Caribbean 3, the film, like, bubbled up or burnt or whatever. Which, <laughs> that was awesome. That was cool. Oh, yeah. like, like, the theater didn't catch on fire. No, it was like the film just, like, ripped apart. Like, that happened to me during Hannibal. It was so scary. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, see, with Hannibal, I would be like, no, done. Yeah, I, done. Just, <laughs> I was freaking out. <laughs> it's, it's like, like we're so glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Please sit yourself. Enjoy some fava beans and a nice hey. Chianti. Yes, yes. <laughs> Anyone else had any? Um, Tom, do you ever have any crazy like cinema experience like that? Um, no, not crazy, but I can kind of understand. Each each time you go is definitely a different experience. Sometimes it's brilliant. Sometimes you get the screaming kids or the people on their phones talking or. You get all sorts, really. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and ever, and viewers out there, another trick to getting your arm around someone is you ask them which um, which directions walls go. And you go, they go up, over, and down. <laughs> <laughs> if you do get slapped in the face, it is not my fault. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> but you might get points for trying. Yeah. Well, while while James is gone. Uh, what uh, what games are you guys most excited about um, before the end of the year? Uh, dude, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I still can't decide if it's um, Super Mario 3D World or A Link Between Worlds because those are my both my favorite favorite franchises in gaming. So I'm just uh. ah. <laughs> yeah, Link Between Worlds is my favorite, but Mario um, 3D World looks awesome too. Yeah. It, it, it pains me they're coming out the exact same day. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Are you not getting both? That's all. Well, yeah, I, I'm probably going to get both, but um, you know, I can't play both of them right then. You know, um, like, do you guys remember? I think it was 2011 when Skyward Sword came out. It came out literally one week uh, after Super Mario 3D Land. Oh, uh, yeah. And then the week after that, I think Mario Kart 8 was coming out. Because Mario, Mario, Mario Kart 3D Land and Mario Kart 8 uh, were like three weeks apart or something, and right smack dab in the middle was Skyward Sword. Uh, j- j-